What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. Got a cool video today. Nice short video, but very cool nonetheless. I was actually going to do both of these items in one video, but to be honest with you, now that I see Adam's channel stickers and I know what this video is going to be, I'm deciding to split them up because they both deserve their own video. So we'll do a sneak peek on this here and we'll talk about Adam's channel stickers and how I'm going to become super wealthy off of Adam's signature someday when he becomes famous. So the channel stickers, if you guys don't know Adam, Adam's Playground, I'll have a link in the description section of this video. You guys got to go out there and check him out. Super awesome channel, lots of Tamiya stuff, vintage current i mean he's got a wall of tamia stuff so you got to check him out if you're into rc or tammy or both but he caught with these really cool channel stickers and he's got a video in there that tells the story of where this little potato came from and uh the story by itself is really really cool very impulsive guy i can understand that i'm an impulsive guy myself uh kind of on the goofy side I'm right with you adam but he came up with these cool channel stickers and to be honest with you i've got a channel sticker wall I got all my cool channel stickers at. And then, of course, you know, I'll stick some on some RC cars that I have. Uh, one was Uncle Lee's channel sticker. Uh, he's got a cool little holographic channel sticker, too, of his uh, Bull Gear RC logo. Very awesome stuff. But Adam had surprised me because I had wanted the large sticker, and I actually got both. So thank you, Adam. But uh, I'm, I'm at a, a crossroads on which one to put on my sticker board, to be honest with you, because I really like this one. I don't know where you guys are getting these holographic stickers from, but these are freaking cool, man. But he's got a larger one, about the size of the base of a Coke can, and then one, you know, half that size. The half size one's got the cool hologram on it, but they're the exact same sticker. And uh, I implore you guys to go check out his channel for some cool vintage and current Tamiya products and to figure out the cool story behind this potato because uh, it's a cool story. I'm not going to tell it to you. You guys got to go over there and check it out uh, for yourself. Like I said, links in the uh, description section. Go check him out. Thank you, Adam, again for sending some really cool channel stickers. And he has this cool little blurb that he's got printed off and his awesome little adam hancock down here and uh i was fortunate enough to get one for my collection and one to hit ebay with later on when he becomes famous don't think i don't know adam your channel's starting to get really big really fast so it's my retirement plan right here very excited about that now sneak peek for the next video my buddy will thompson thompson rc uh, we're going to do a little collab on a car. It's a tribute for his father's old project car. His father passed away a few years back, and he's got this really cool car in the driveway, and uh, it was kind of like this really awesome dream project car of his. And I'm going to make this car look pretty close to the one that's in the pictures from the driveway. And the reason I say pretty close is because I kind of changed it up a little bit. Originally... I was going to do it exact. I was even going to make one of the tires flat up front. I was going to take one of the little rims and tires and I was going to shave the bottom of it and flatten it out just because I wanted to make it look identical to the project car sitting in the lot up front. But I'm not going to do that now. I talked to Will and uh, this is a really nice car. Uh, we're going to open it up in the next video and I'm going to talk more about it. But here's some cool, cool little things about it real quick. I noticed something in here that I don't have in any any of my diecast collection, whether it's a $30, uh, you know, uh, Hot Wheels Collector's Edition car or any of my, you know, premium cars. None of that stuff has this one thing that I can see through the bubble pack here. It has a real steering wheel. Every other steering wheel I've ever seen, and I've painted a bunch, has just this flat round piece of plastic you have to use your imagination a little bit this has like an m2 machine style real steering wheel that if you had a teeny tiny little guy in there he could hold on to it with two hands i thought that was really cool i've seen this series one style uh hot wheels before but i've never bought any just because i thought it was a regular hot wheels car and it's not not only do you know the the cool steering wheel effect in there but it also has some other really cool parts to it too like on the wheels they're plastic wheels but they actually have printing on them i think it says goodyear on one side and something on the other once i get my 
my uh, little glasses on, I can try to figure out what it says, which again, we'll reveal in the next video. And then of course it has a metal bottom. Very cool stuff. None of the good cars have it. Uh, that are your dollar cars, your mainline cars are all plastic bottoms. You gotta get into the premium cars, then you finally get a metal bottom. I don't believe this was sold as a premium car. I think this was uh, somewhere around 2003, 2004 is when they sold these. There's 25 of them total, but a uh, very cool car. Will, I really appreciate you uh, trusting me and getting this tribute to your dad. Uh, very excited about that. We're going to do a cool uh, custom uh, display for it. In the end, uh, one of the really cool things that I'm happy about this car, when I did Jason's car, did that really cool charger for him, uh, it had the bubble pack over the, the title of the car on the bottom like normal. If it's a new card, I can go ahead and get that off without messing that up and I can use that name as my title or my label for the car down here. Well, a lot of these older cars like Jason's, when I pulled the bubble pack off, it completely destroyed the title to the car. So I had to really get creative in getting a new title for, you know, a nice little label for the bottom of his display. I don't have to do that with this one because the label is right up here. So I can actually just cut that out, do my cool little faux acrylic edition stuff to it, and then get it on the old display. So next video up, we're going to do uh, the beginning to Will Thompson's tribute card to his dad. Very excited about this. Thanks again to Will. Got some wheels already picked out for it. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, instead of doing the flat tire and all that, we're going to make it you know, kind of resto mod. The the body of the car, identical to the one, all rusty and sweaty, like the one that's in the driveway. And then everything else is going to be all resto modded out. Super nice wheels. Speaking of super nice wheels, got another one going. Uh, I actually already have it pulled out. Got another car for Jason we're going to do. We're going to do, uh, I got a Treasure Hunt Batmobile car. Uh, it's a Dark Knight Batmobile. Super cool ride. And it's an actual Treasure Hunt car. We're going to get that pulled out of the pack. We're going to give it some really cool wheels, but I'm going to blacken them out because the Dark Knight doesn't do anything but black, which is super cool. So no chrome on there, but we're going to do some really nice wheels and tires. And then we're going to put it back in the pack. And I'm going to do a pretty cool little label that goes behind the little uh, uh, blister pack here. So got a bunch of cool Hot Wheels stuff. Still doing the Grand Hauler and all the, the light bright stuff on it. But uh, super, super mad, many, many super duper thanks to Adam, Adam's Playground. Link in the description section. Guys, I'm going to get to work on this new video. We're going to get it to you guys here real soon. Brian, Amazing RC, really appreciate you guys stopping by.